Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of August 19th. Uh, this week, if you want to catch me live, uh, go down below, su subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I already did your reading, and uh, something happened. So uh, I, luckily, I still have all the cards here, but uh, your overall energy for the week was the Five of Wands. And basically, what I felt off of this was that uh, it looks like a very positive week for you, but it's like sometimes when things are going well for us, we can be thinking about the negative, right? We could be like, when is the bad thing going to happen? So I feel like this card, and what I said in the first time that I recorded this video, was that I feel like this card was just saying, keep it positive, make sure you're not like immediately jumping to the negative, especially if things are going well. The other thing I got that was kind of weird is, again, looking for the negative, um, but which is different. Like I feel like some of you, things could be going really well, and so then you start looking for the negative things that could be going on. And it's like, I feel like this whole reading is saying, keep it positive but especially this card. I feel like you have the King of Spades here as well in your reading, and uh, the King of Spades can represent pushing through competition, and you know, the Five of Wands is a card of competition, so if you're dealing with competition in work or in business or in any other area of your life, I feel like all these cards are saying, like, keep pushing forward. Uh, your first card is the Nine of Hearts, so getting something you wish for, getting something you want. This is a card of wishes and getting something you want. It could also represent a long-distance relationship as well. You have the Four of Hearts coming up here, and again, Four of Hearts could represent something long distance, so some of you could be dealing with a relationship at a distance, but um, and it, but really, it looks good if that is the case, so I feel like this could be good for you, uh, but really, just a wish card. Next, you have the Six of Hearts. Six of Hearts, I love. It's one of my favorite cards in the deck. It's a card that says, uh, uh, basically, obstacles are being removed from your life. It's kind of like a card that asks you to try again. Uh, it says that you should be trying something that you've tried in the past that maybe didn't work out, and now it's time to try again. So it's like if you started a business in the past and it didn't work out, this card says try again. And maybe it's not the same business or the same type of business that you're going to be starting. Maybe it's something different, but maybe, you know, probably just business in general. Uh, same thing in love. This card says if you've had a hard time in love, Maybe now is time for you to try again because this card says that there is going to be a turnaround. Uh, it can represent if you have been having challenges in relationship, in like a relationship. This is my card of star cross lovers. So, you know, two people who want to be together but can't for whatever reason. So uh, some of you could be dealing with that situation as well. Uh, next, you have the king of spades. Like I said, uh, to me, this was just saying uh, pushing through competition. This card says you have more than enough intelligence. You have the brains, the wits, the everything you need to get through competition. So if you're dealing with a competition type situation in work or in business, this card says keep pushing. For others, this can represent difficulties in business or work, but it's like um, just with people. It can say that people are being difficult. The King of Spades kind of asks us to just uh, worry about ourselves to just kind of put our heads down and work and not worry about everything else that's going on around us. And if we do that, we will be fine. And, you know, basically asks us to not even engage in anything. Like, so if people are gossiping about us or anything, this kind of says the proof is in the pudding here, Leo. And so it says if you just focus on your work and you don't worry about what everybody else is saying, then, you know, it's like the your bosses, the higher-ups, everything, they will see that and they will see that everybody else is just gossiping if that's the problem. So uh, definitely a card of, like, jealousy to be ignored. Uh, next in your challenge position, you have the Four of Hearts and the Eight of Diamonds. Yeah, this can represent, um, number one, I would say definitely with these cards, I would I would be careful of idealizing a relationship. So sometimes if we haven't been in a relationship and we get in a new relationship and, you know, maybe if we've been single for a while, we kind of make it out to be better than it actually is because, you know, it's like we want to be in a relationship. We don't want to be alone. So this says maybe the relationship that you're getting into or if you are recently having gotten into one, this could say, yeah, maybe it is perfect. Maybe it is, you know, perfect, really good. No relationship is perfect, of course, but um, it's saying, you know, make sure to keep your eyes open. Make sure to pay attention to the details. Same thing in work and business as well. Eight of Diamonds is a card called the key, and it says you hold all the keys necessary to open doors to whatever it is you want. If you want to double your income this year, it's like saying you have all the talents, gifts, skills, and abilities to do that. But coming up in the challenge position, it can kind of represent blind blindness, being blind to what you have. And uh, so I feel like you need to keep your eyes open. Or think about ways you could be being, uh, you know, you could be becoming more successful. Eight of Diamonds could also represent like maybe you waiting for money. This could be a very simple challenge. It might not be that big of a deal. Uh, it could be saying that you're like waiting for money. Maybe you're waiting for a loan or something like that to get moving forward in some area of your life. Or maybe you're like trying to buy a house with that four of hearts. Or maybe you're trying to find a place to live. Eight of Diamonds is just saying you're kind of like in a waiting period. Uh, next, your solution is the Ace of Diamonds and the Nine of Spades. Yeah, this will be a temporary situation. So I would say if you're like waiting for money or anything, Nine 
nine of spades in the solution position says that this will just be a temporary situation. Ace of diamonds is like saying you are stepping off on a new financial path. You are starting a new financial journey that will probably be very successful for you. So really amazing cards, really good for you. This is also good for love as well, because again, it would say that your love situation is temporary. If you are having challenges, Ace of diamonds says that you will be kind of starting something new. And uh, finally, your outcome is the queen of spades here in the five of clubs. I feel like it'd be a good week for you to socialize with these two cards. Just get out there and spend time with people. I feel like uh, King of Spades, Queen of Spades, this could represent needing to find mentors in your life or needing to find people who you trust and needing the Five of Clubs is like going to those people for advice. So again, isn't that funny? You know, I read ta uh, tarot and playing cards very differently. I do not read them as the same, but it is something you can do. And the Five of Clubs is the Five of Wands. So it's like you have the card here, but I feel like it's saying socialize and make sure to go to people that you trust in any area. You know, if you're looking for advice or even if you just need to spend time with people, you know, go to people you trust with these two cards. But it uh, looks really good, Leo. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.